Hello, Glacier Hills residents. This is Ingrid Kraus. I'm the wellness coordinator uh, here at Glacier Hills, if you have not met me before. And I typically do uh, six exercise classes a week. So I do rise and shine and steady steps, and we do that on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. Today is a little different um, because I'm here in the Hanson room by myself with John, who's helping to videotape this for you. Um, so you are in your apartments and hopefully you are all well. And if you would like to join me for exercise today, please do. So I'm sitting in a chair that doesn't have any armrests. If you have one like that, please feel free to use a chair like that. You might get a little more range of motion. Um, I've taken off my shoes, so feel free to do that you might feel more comfortable in your stocking feet. Also, remember that this is your exercise and you are doing what feels comfortable for your body and your range of motion. There should be no pain involved, no discomfort. So you're exercising and moving your body in a way that is just appropriate for you. And please feel free to take a rest when you need to do so. Okay, first thing is to move away from the back of your chair. So I'm sitting in the middle of the chair and I'm going to engage my core. So when I say that, I mean that I'm going to uh, use my abdominal muscles, my back muscles to support me. When you're sitting and using the back of the chair, you're letting the chair take on some of that work. So already, just by moving to the middle of the chair, we are forced to engage our middle. And let's set our posture. We're going to lift the shoulders, bring them back, and set them down. In fact, that's a posture check that you can do several times during the day. And I see John moving his shoulders back, so obviously this little tip has worked for him. <laughs> so. We do find ourselves frequently during the day hunching over because we are on our phones, we're on our computers, we're reading, whatever we're doing, we do have a tendency to start to slump forward. So feel free to do that posture check. Lift the shoulders, bring them back, set them down, good. And another tip for our exercise class is to keep inhaling and exhaling at a regular, your regular breathing rate. Uh, when we do things that engage the core a little bit more, we tend to, or when we brace ourselves in the middle, we tend to want to hold our breath. So please remember not to hold your breath, just inhale and exhale like you normally would. So let's go ahead and start we'll do a head to toe stretch and a little bit of strengthening uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so starting first, let's start and tilt the head to the side. So a gentle tilt so that the ear is angled towards the shoulder. And then bring the head back to neutral. And then let's tilt the head to the other side, ear towards the shoulder. Good. And then let's turn either to the right or to the left, you decide, and then angle that chin down towards the shoulder. And then come back to neutral. And then let's turn in the other direction and angle the chin towards the shoulder and come back to neutral. So by neutral, I mean facing forward, the chin is level. From this position, let's gently tilt the chin up towards the ceiling and maybe open and close your mouth. When you close your mouth, you should feel the stretch across the front of the neck. In that angled position, you can move your jaw from side to side. 
You can even scan the ceiling, letting your gaze and your head go from one side to the other of the ceiling. Again, a reminder, you're only doing what feels comfortable for you. Then let's lower the chin, letting your gaze go towards the floor. From this position, we can again scan. This time you're scanning the floor, one side and then the other. Good, back to neutral position with the head. And from here, pretend that you have a magic marker at the top of your head and you are going to create a circle on the on your ceiling so we're going to circle the head slowly and gently in one direction you are making that imaginary circle on the ceiling whatever color you chose for your magic marker and now I'm reversing the circle, tracing the circle on the ceiling. And back to neutral. Good job. Okay, let's work through the fingers and the hands a little bit. So I am opening my hands, stretching out the fingers, and then I am making a fist. Let's do that several times. Opening and closing the hands. Let's wiggle the fingers. Let's pretend we're getting ready to play the piano. And then let's rotate through the wrists. So the whole idea today is to work through all of our joints, loosen them up and also do a little strengthening. Let's go ahead and stretch the arms out in front. Arms are parallel to the floor. And let's touch shoulders. So I'm touching the shoulders with my fingertips and then extending the arms out in front. I'm going to keep my arms extended, but then bring them out to the side. And same thing, I'm touching shoulders. Really good for strengthening our shoulders, but also to work through our range of motion through our elbows and our shoulders. And then I bring my arms back down to the side. I'm going to lift and lower the shoulders. I'm bringing my shoulders up towards the ears as if I were a turtle. And then I'm going to push them down as if they're being weighed down by suitcases or a jug of water in each hand. Let's try that one more time. Lift and lower the shoulders. Good. This time let's lift and do some reverse shoulder circles. So really stretching those shoulders back and down and forward and up again. Let's reverse that. So forward shoulder circles. Feel free to do these reverse shoulder circles frequently during the day to again help you reset your posture. Good. And then let's go ahead and take the arms and reach forward. Roll the shoulders forward. Open up the upper back. Good. Hold that and then bring the elbows back and pinch the shoulder blades together. So opening up the chest. So what we're doing is we're working opposite muscle groups. So working on our posture muscles, opening up the upper back. And now we're going to open up the chest by bringing those elbows back, pinching the shoulder blades together. Good. Let's extend the arms out to the side. This is going to work on your shoulder strength as well. We're going to turn only in a manner that feels comfortable for you. I'm looking over my shoulder at my extended arm and my hand. Good. And then I come back to facing forward. And then I'm going to turn in the other direction, letting my gaze follow my arm and my hand. Good. 
and then I'm going to do some arm circles. Again, you're going to feel that fatigue creeping into your shoulders. We're really working on our shoulder muscle endurance by doing this. And then let's circle back. So we're doing medium circles with the arms. Good. And then let's give them a little rest. And I'm going to move a little towards the front of the chair. That will give me a little more clearance behind me. And I'm going to think of myself unhinging from the hips. I'm going to cross my arms and have my hands touch my shoulders. And I'm going to lean back, unhinging from the hips. And that's where that bracing feeling that I talked about earlier comes in as I lean and I feel for the back of the chair. I'm doing chair sit-ups. Good, really engaging the core, meaning I'm using my abdominal muscles and, <clears throat> excuse me, my back muscles. Good, here's three. We're gonna go for five. Good, coming back to this neutral position, angling back, unhinging from the hips, feeling for the back of the chair. This was four. Let's do one more. I'm leaning back, bracing in the middle. I'm inhaling and exhaling the whole time. Excellent. Good. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Good. Let's work through the shoulders a little bit more and with arm circles, one arm at a time. I'm doing the front crawl with one arm forward. Now I'm doing the backstroke with that same arm, two circles back. And here's the second one. Good job. And other arm, two circles forward. Nice and slow and controlled. You're doing what feels comfortable for your body. And let's reverse that. Backstroke. Good. Two backstrokes. Good. And now what else can we do with a swimming movement? Arms are parallel to the floor stretched out in front. And now we're going to do a breaststroke. So what I've done is extended the arms pulled back by bending the arms, pulling the elbows back. Let's do that a third time. And pull back. Let's hold, pinch the shoulder blades together. Good. And then let's go ahead and put our arms in this goalpost style position. Palms are facing away from you. Arms are bent at 90 degrees. And then we bring the hands and elbows in front of the body. If you can have them touch, great. They may be like this. That's fine. Let's do overhead lifts. One and two. We're going for three on this one. And three. Excellent. Again, let's shake things out. Maybe lift and lower the shoulders. Good. And let's do a little bit more for the core. So I'm going to just hold my hands together like this, and I'm going to lean back slightly. There's that bracing feeling, and I'm going to bring my hands from one side to the other. So just to the outside of the hips, as I get a little rotation in through the upper body, and I'm bracing myself in the middle. Good, let's do that one more time. Excellent. Okay. What we haven't done yet is a side body stretch. And we can do that in a couple of ways that will feel comfortable for you. So we've done a little rotation through the trunk, and now we'll do a little side body stretch. So we can do that by holding our elbows, or even if you want to bring your arms in front of your in front of the body, that's fine. Or if you're able to reach up and hold one of your wrists. This is easier if you actually widen your stance. Let's do that and reach to the side. You should feel a stretch all the way through the side body. And hold and back to the middle. Let's try that on the other side. Leaning over that side and feeling the stretch through the entire side body. 
Very good. Again, we can do that holding the elbows. Let's do that once in that manner. Tilting to the side, you've got a nice wide base of support with the feet. Back to the middle and tilting to the other side. And back to the middle. If you bring your feet together and try that, let's try that, how that feels. You are definitely engaging the core even more because you have a narrower base of support. So play around with the width of your feet and your legs to see what gives you the best base of support. Excellent. Okay, we've warmed up the head and the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the back, and now and the uh, the core muscles. Let's work on the lower abdominal muscles and the hips. Let's do that by lifting and lowering, alternating one leg and then the other. So we're marching in place. Feel free to put your hands wherever they're comfortable. I'm slowly lifting one leg and lowering it and then lifting the other leg and lowering it. So I'm marching in place. And what I can do to maybe bring my heart rate up a little bit more than with this is to add my arms. So I am chair walking. I can pick up the speed by going a little bit faster or I can work on that leg strength by lifting and freezing. Let's try that on the other side. Lift and freeze. And let's try that again. Lift and freeze. And lift and freeze. Excellent. Let's take a little break. Inhale and exhale and work on leg strength a little bit more. Let's lift one leg, extend and bend and lower. We're working on warming up the knee, lifting, extending and bending and lowering. Good. Let's take one leg to the side and then the other leg to the side. Still working on the hips, opening up the hips, working lower abdominal muscles. The whole time we're maintaining that good posture. Good. Let's do that one more time on each side. Again, this works better if you're sitting more towards the front of the chair. And now I'm doing what's called heel digs. I'm extending and bending the leg and I'm touching down with the heel and I'm flexing my foot. Good, let's do that one more time on each side. Excellent, okay. Let's start to warm up the ankles. We're going to do that by pushing through the toes and lifting the heels. Again, sitting with good posture, pushing through the toes, lifting the heels. Let's rock back and we are lifting the toes and digging the heels into the floor. So we're doing the opposite. Let's rock onto the toes, lift the heels, rock onto the heels and lift the toes. And again, push through the toes, lift the heels and then rock back, dig into those heels and lift the toes. Excellent. Let's do a little rotation through the ankle. I'm going to hug my knee and rotate the ankle in one direction and then in the other direction. And let's try that on the other side. I'm going to hug the knee, rotate, and rotate in the other direction. Good. And let's do a little bit more with the feet. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting one leg. I'm going to point my foot and then flex it. I'm looking for one spot on the floor where I can touch with my toe and touch with the heel. So my leg acts like a piston. And so I'm not bending at the knee. I'm really using that ankle joint. So doing all of these things to keep our ankles flexible it's really good for balance. So you can do some of these things before you get up from the chair. So really good to get your body prepared for walking, 
standing up and walking by doing some of these exercises. Good, let's try that on the other side. So other leg, I'm pointing and flexing the foot. I'm lifting and lowering the leg from the hip, not moving the knee, it's really movement through the ankle joint. So pointing and flexing and pointing and flexing. One more time, pointing and flexing. Good. Let's take a break, a nice breather. Inhale and exhale, good. We're gonna do a final stretch and that is to extend both legs, again, sitting more towards the edge of the chair. You'll get more mobility that way. And we're going to lean forward and let the stretch come to the low back. So inhale and exhale here and sit up again. Good. And let's lean forward again, this time extending the arms and reaching towards your flexed feet. You could be reaching towards your thighs, your knees, your shins, or your toes, whatever is within your range of motion. Let's sit up again. And let's try that one more time. So that stretch is gonna come into the low back, into your glutes, what you're sitting on, and into the back of the legs, the hamstrings. The hamstrings are what get tight from doing a lot of sitting. So doing this may be helpful for when you go to stand up. Also, this stretch is very helpful in helping you to get your socks on, get your pants on, tie your shoes. So this is something that you can definitely do several times throughout the day. Again, you're reaching either towards your thighs, your knees, your shins, your toes, whatever is comfortable for you. And with this stretch, you're also getting some stretching into the back and into the shoulders. And I think this is probably a good stopping point for today. There's more to come, so stay tuned. Take some deeper breaths, have some water, stay well hydrated, and most of all, stay well. I miss all of you.